Hey everyone, happy Friday. It is Connor here. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Thank goodness it's Friday. You guys are almost here to the weekend. Just make it through the day and then we are at the weekend. Um, I'm actually pre-filming this on Thursday night and I was sitting here and normally I plan out my videos far in advance, um, specifically like my videos that are not hauls and that are like reviews or um like a fun type of video like i normally plan those out um up to like weeks in advance but i had realized that i had nothing planned for today's video because i have a order from bath and body works that's gonna be coming in and i thought it would be here by today because i think i placed it on sunday and so I was like, it's probably gonna come tomorrow, but I looked online and it just shipped and it says it won't be here till Saturday, but I'm gonna be out of town this weekend. So I will get to review that on, or not review that, give you guys a haul on what I got on this Monday. I picked up some Christmas candles. They had a sale. I actually picked up more than just a few. I picked up like 10, I think. So. <laughs> I went a little crazy, but um, I wanted to try some new things to review for you guys. So a big haul of that is going to be coming on Monday, but that's not important. I was just like, what am I going to do for tomorrow's video? So I was like, I've already reviewed every candle that I'm burning right now. And then there's this one right here that's sitting in front of me. This is actually a village candle. Um, and so I was like, well, I don't think they're really going to want to see a candle review of Village Candle because most people that are watching me, I'm guessing, that shop for candles probably purchase out of the same companies that I mainly do, like Bath and Body Works, the main one for most of us, and then, you know, Homeworks or Kringle or Yankee. Um, so it's like, I'm not sure they're going to want to see this, but here we are. Um, I wanted to give you guys a video for tomorrow for Friday. So, uh, this is what you're getting. And then there's one more that I'm also going to be doing and it's a Yankee candle. And I know Yankee is not like my normal review company. It's usually the main three, what I call my Holy Trinity, Kringle, Bath and Body and, um, Homeworks. But you're getting some oddball reviews today. So um, I hope you guys are ready to talk about a company that I don't normally talk about. Um, so just a little backstory on Village. This is definitely not a candle company that I purchase from frequently. Um, I pick up from them occasionally. If I go to Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stores like those that carry Village candles and I'll smell them and if there's one that I really love, I'll pick it up, but normally I never really go for these. First of all, they are paraffin and you guys just know I don't love paraffin always. Um, I also seem to not go out of my comfort zone too much for candles. Like I like to stick to what I know I love, so sometimes it can be scary. But uh, yeah, I have this one here and I actually picked this one up last holiday season in never got to finish it i burned it like one or two times last year and then just put it away and so i'm actually shocked it made us it made it here into this house because if you're new here um we just moved into here a few months ago so i'm shocked this one made it over here and didn't just get like uh burned down or like gave it away or sold because i gave away and sold a lot of my candle collection when we moved um so I was shocked to see this one, but I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna finish this one up because it was like about um, a fourth way burnt. So I was like, I'm just gonna finish this one. So yeah, here I am reviewing it for you guys. I have the notes pulled up on my laptop. I'm shocked that I was able to find the notes because I didn't even know if Village Candle was really still around or not because I see them at Home Goods, but I'm like, do they actually sell them online somewhere or did Home Goods just buy them out as their brand? But yeah, we've got balsam fir here. Actually, I'm so stupid. Guys, I am so stupid. I just noticed the notes are on the candle. Okay, well, that's annoying. But I actually found notes on here. So this must be like a very old candle that I purchased because the notes on the website, um, which is called Stonewall Kitchen, I guess that's who, brand, who owns the brand of Village. They have totally different notes than what this jar is saying right here. So um, I am not sure. I'll read you both because um, it looks like it's the same candle, but I'm not sure. 
Okay. Well, anyways, let's get into the review. Enough of the chitter chatter. Sorry, that was a big opening. I know. Let's start with the description and then the notes. So the description says, the dazzling greenery of balsam and evergreen woodlands conjures up a rich, boundless world of adventure and celebration. Mingled with notes of citrusy bergamot, this is a richly aromatic fragrance experience to invoke deep layered memories while also inspiring new stories and sensations. That is a very descriptive description. <laughs> Okay, so your top notes are sparkling citrus, petite grain, which I've actually never heard of, I'll be honest, um, spruce, cedar, wood, and eucalyptus are your mid notes, and then your base notes are fir, needle, and pine, and musk. So um, this is a very basic Christmas tree type of scent. Um, it's definitely your balsam, your fir, your pine, musky fir needle eucalyptus all of those tree scents cedar spruce uh all of those tree names that come to your head that's exactly what this candle is it's honestly not too complex that description <laughs> sounded very complex this is just a very basic christmas tree holiday scent it's good though you know if you love tree scents this is a good one um i'd be shocked if you're able to find it to be honest but if you can i found mine at home goods uh years or a year ago i think i picked this one up last year and i just liked the scent so for some reason i bought it it was probably on a really good sale or something um but yeah, this is a good one. So I did look up what petite grain is because I had no idea what that meant. So it looks like it's like an essential oil, but it's like in a tree and all of the images I'm finding have like fruit. So maybe it has like a little bit of citrus in here. I'll be honest, I don't pick up any citrus whatsoever um, to this one. And there's like the, there's not a citrus note in here, but it did, oh, Actually, there is. It says sparkling citrus. So I get no citrus in here. I really just get the tree notes, specifically balsam and <clears throat> all those tree notes. That's what I pick up. I do not get citrus or petite grain, whatever that means. But um, I will say I do pick up the bergamot, and that's on here. So the notes on here says evergreen, bergamot, and fresh balsam. So this is actually a really good description right here. I really should have just read this. Um it is probably more accurate. So this definitely has like an evergreen, fresh balsam type of scent to it. I do pick up a little bit of the bergamot, which gives it like a fresh vibe. Um, but again, it's just a basic tree type of candle. Definitely nothing too unique or anything. Um, but if you just want a basic tree candle, this is your candle. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for the scent. Let's talk about the performance because I'm actually kind of shocked this one is pretty good performance actually I will say the wicks got a little puny on me for most of the burn and they look like they're doing okay right now it's a little hot ow I'm burning myself for y'all I'm kidding um but as you can see the wicks are actually doing really good right now we have a really big pool of wax I've been burning this for hours and it's letting me burn it for hours and there's no issues so I'm actually getting no soot at all, which is pretty shocking. Let me just do a little test. Yeah, no soot at all. So this one's actually doing really good for me, um, shockingly. Um, and I will say the throw is there. This is like a five or a six throw. Um, so I'm pretty shocked. I will say tree scents usually are on the stronger end compared to the lighter end. So I'm really happy that this is performing well for me and I'm getting to enjoy it and it's not just sitting down in the big armoire cabinet shelf that I keep my old candles in. So I'm glad that it's getting finished and it's living its life and I'm really happy with the performance that I'm getting from it. So yeah, I'm pretty shocked that I actually um, got good performance from this one because this scent is nice and I'll burn it for the holidays. I mean, it's a nice scent. But um, it's not a candle brand that I normally go for or buy from. Um, saying that, though, with the performance being well for me, I don't know. I probably would not buy more from this brand. I mean, if I love the scent from them and, like, I fall in love with it, maybe I'll buy it. But, again, keeping context, I bought this a year ago. And you would be shocked by how much a brand can change in a year. And with inflation and rising cost and things like that, 
this brand could totally be like a totally different i did notice they like changed their tops and their glass it's not as nice this is like an older version and it's a lot nicer so um it definitely looks like they cut some cost so that could have and like that could have changed the amount of oils they put in there and the strength and the thread that the candle has and the wicks as well so i am not sure because again i haven't checked them out in a while but i am just letting you guys know beware if you're gonna try this brand but it is up to you so yeah that is my thoughts on balsam fur i know this was a really odd review and not a candle brand that I normally would talk about, but that is my thoughts. I wanted to give you guys a video for today. So anyways, I'm gonna link this one down below just in case you were interested on, interest, sorry, I can't speak, interested on checking this one out. Um, you can do that down below in the description. It is $17.95, so $18 on the Stonewall Kitchen uh, website. But I would suggest if you're really wanting to find it, you can look in your, Marshall's Home Goods TJ Maxx. I actually found, I was actually, it's funny that I'm doing this review because the other day I did see a bunch of like holiday scents from Village at my Home Goods. They still have a ton of them. They weren't this specifically, this specific scent, but they had one and I think it was like holiday wreath or something. And then they had like a Christmas tree one. So they have Village at my Home Goods. So definitely go check yours out um, if you want to find these. But yeah, that is my thoughts. Make sure to like and subscribe if you help if you enjoyed the video and want to help support my channel. Again, I'll be back in a few hours for a Yankee review and I will see you guys there. Bye.